Hi, I'm Paul from Love Logs. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your barbecue for indirect cooking. Let's go. So the concept of cooking indirect on a barbecue is really simple. You're still going to use charcoal as your fuel source, but instead of cooking directly over the coals like you might if you were flipping burgers or cooking sausages, you're going to cook away from the heat source and it's going to function more like a home oven. So it's really simple. We're going to set up our fuel source, our charcoal over here, and then our food will sit on this part of the barbecue cooking indirectly, not over the heat. So this is a pretty typical fuel setup for me. We've got a crescent moon of British lump charcoal from one side of the barbecue to the other. We'll start the fire small over here and with the right use of the vents, we'll be able to control the temperature and the burn speed really easily all the way through the cook. So I've nestled a natural fire lighter in amongst the charcoal here and I've added two lumps of cherry wood, which I'll talk to you about in another video. So fire lighter's lit, lid's down and the top vent's wide open. At this stage, the bottom vent's wide open too, but I'm going to keep a close eye on the temperature and close that off gradually. The lid thermometer can be pretty unreliable, so I always set up a digital air thermometer inside the barbecue. I'm looking to cook at about 1.30 today, so we are coming up to temperature nicely. I'm going to knock the vents down a little bit. Temperature's accelerating now, so I'm going to take the vents down a little bit more. So I've just hit 120 degrees, I'm going to make the final adjustment to the bottom vent. Getting close on temperature now, so I'm going to make an adjustment to the top vent. So I've stabilised at 135, 136, so not the 130 I was going for, but well within the acceptable range, so I'm going to get my food on. So pork shoulder has gone on indirect, away from the flame and the fuel source, but underneath the vent so that the cherry smoke is going to pull over the pork and out the vent. So food's on, temperature's stable, I've got a beer and I feel like I'm winning. All you've got to do now is keep an eye on your temperature and make any small adjustments needed to the vents to make sure you stay within range. Thanks for watching.